Hello, my scrappy friends. How are you going today? So uh, this share today is for Cut to You. Cut to You. I'm trying to speak too fast. Um, and I have used this Love Me Some Heart background cut file, which I love. Um, if you haven't seen Tamara's recent share with this um, cut file, go check it out. Uh, this is the page that I've created. And I am starting with a paper by Coco Vanilla Studio from the U Rock collection, which, if you're unfamiliar, is one of the boy collections. Well, it's the boy collection that came out last year. Uh, it is, I love it. I absolutely love it. But I loved this ombre pattern um, on this paper. So that's what I've gone with. I was originally going to paint this file gold. You can see I've got one of my shimmers out there and I was just going to paint it gold. And then I went, hang on, maybe I will miss it. It will be much quicker. Uh, and uh, yeah, it'll just be quicker. And then when I was thinking of that, I was like, hey, I have this really awesome idea. I have a project that I wish to work on for um, Craft Plus. And if I use this cut file and tack it down to a piece of craft cardstock this could very well work for my background if it doesn't work for the project I'm thinking of I can use it for something else so I have tacked it down very lightly with some um, with some tape runner and you can see I have literally just sprayed it if you have ever attended one of Heidi Swap's classes she teaches you uh, when when you want light coverage you like move your hand and so that's exactly what I was doing I got a fairly light coverage all over this cut file and then where it didn't, where I wanted a bit more depth of colour, I've just gone in with a small paintbrush and that minor minor 49er, dried it off with a heat tool, and now I'm just peeling that off my craft cardstock. You can see straight away, look at that shimmer and shine. It is beautiful. Um, popping that there, I'm going to give it another quick blast with the heat tool. And here it is all done. Bring back that cut file and look at how it pops on there. I just love this color combination. I, you would have seen right at the beginning that I have three photos um, of my oldest child and uh, my nephew that I have cut into heart, shape, heart shapes to fit into the three biggest hearts. I'm going to apply glue to the back of the cut file and I've just grabbed a piece of white cardstock because I didn't want for any of the gold to smudge onto my blue cardstock, well my blue background, uh, and I thought this way too any extra glue, like what you'll see when it's all done, um, it's on the back of a piece of white cardstock, it's not a big deal, I'm not ruining anything. So you can see that my heart, my photos hang over a little bit. I'm just going to I'll trim those out in a minute, but I wanted to add a little bit more detail. And I searched through my box of specialty paper offcuts, and I came across this one. This is one of my all-time favourites. It's vellum with gold newspaper print on it. I love it. It's a Maggie Holmes paper, and I got it from Scrapping Clearly quite a while ago, like a long time ago. Um, and I may be hoarding it. But I was like, yes, I'm using it on this page. So I back a few of the hearts with that. And it's a really simple process. This is the last one that I'm backing. Now, I kept this next bit in because it's funny. Um, but you can see I've got all of those hearts. All of the ones that I want backed are backed. Now, I'm looking at that going, this text isn't straight. This text is not straight. I must make it straight. And then I'm like, this one's not straight either. How am I going to get this to work? So I pull that off, pull out my T-square ruler, <laughs> line up the text with the ruler, and then I can place my cut file on top. And I do that for all of the hearts that I've backed. Because for some reason, I was being particular about this particular piece of paper being straight. So, um, yeah, we all have our little OCD things, right? While I was off camera trimming the photos and the vellum, I also backed this whole cut file with um, adhesive foam, biggest pain in the butt. Um, and yeah, that's ready to go. So I'm gonna stick that down before I do anything else. I've left this bit in as well so that you can see that I, I think I'm doing this the hard way. I don't really know. Um, the first couple of hearts I stuck down, 
I flipped the cut file over and applied glue and smushed it down and then I got glue everywhere. And then from there I applied glue to the, like I lifted the cut file up and applied glue around where I wanted it to stick and I still got glue everywhere. So if you know a quicker, easier, more, better way of doing that, please share. I think maybe I'm being blonde or something. But that's okay because I am blonde. Um, so I've got that cut file stuck down now. I really love how that looks on that pattern paper in the background. So pleased I went with this. Um, like I mentioned, though, I could not get Tamara's page out of my head. I love what she's done with the rainbow. I am going to completely scrap lift. I will use my own photographs. But I'm going to scrap lift and do the same thing, I think, because I love it. Anyway, um, back to my page. I'm using some more Coco Vanilla Studio goodies. I am using, this is the Love Always Wood Veneer. I'm using three pieces. One is part of my title. The other two are uh, where my embellishment clusters are going to be. I'm also using some pieces from the Love Always Ephemera collection. Now, if you know the Coco Vanilla Studio collections, you know that the Love Always is quite a lovey-dovey, feminine, very pretty. Um, I kind of think of it as a wedding collection, uh, but I've incorporated it into this page as well with that boy paper as my background and I love the colours together and I love how this has all worked together. I'm using that little tag from the ephemera to stamp out the rest of my title and it's just going to say happy together because these two are seriously happy together. They are just the cutest to watch and I'm just, it just melts my heart every single time and I could see them today and then again tomorrow and I would feel exactly the same way. It's so cute together. Um, I'm using some grey archival ink for that. Now that tag is too long. I don't know why I didn't record my process. I took the tag off camera but I just did a little fishtail banner on that tag to add it to the title there. Um, I toyed with the idea of punching a hole and adding some, um, I was probably going to use crochet twine but I realised that I glued down where the hole goes, so I'm going to work around that. I'm using three of the butterflies from, again, the Love Always collection, the um, ephemera pack. Uh, and they're the, that grey and white. Making sure that everything's sticking down. I'm going to add one butterfly to each collection. I do have to trim off some excess. It's like it's not come off the die cut machine however how how do they do the ephemera die cuts that's always maybe i've always wondered about that so anyway um i am all over the shop today i do apologize um this is how my brain works i just kind of wonder these random things just adding some adhesive to the center to those butterfly bodies so that i can lift the wings up which is exactly what i'm doing right now and now I'm going to add some glitter enamel shapes. These ones are from the Love Always collection as well. And I've gone with the black. I don't know why, but I just thought that it was a really nice contrast. Um, it is it is quite a big contrast, but I really like it. I'm adding three enamel dots to the three photo embellishment clusters. You can see the biggest ones I'm tucking under layers. Having a quick look at that, making sure I'm happy with it, lifting those wings up again. And I'm going to add my journaling. Now, I did have to add it twice because it kind of faded into the background. I just used a white pen. And then the layout is here so I can tell you what it says. You two are inseparable, and I just love seeing your relationship grow and develop. Cousin love. Um, I decided to add splatters for a little while I debated over white or black and I ended up going with the white. I'm using Dilutions, um, whatever their sprays are called, <laughs> in white linen. I, this comes out, I really love it. I love how it dries on the page. It's opaque. Um, yeah, I'm making sure I'm covering up those photos because there's not a lot of extra space on the photos and I don't want white splatters on either of their faces. 
So after the splatters are all done, that is my page completed. There's a few close-ups. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I, after some drama with not only my cameo, but I had drama with my printer as well. I had to wait for a new one to arrive. So I was super, super happy to get this page done. Um, so yeah, here is the finished page. I hope that you have enjoyed watching my process. A big, big welcome to any new subscribers I have. It is lovely to have you here. As always, thank you to my loyal, loving, um, kind subscribers that have been around for a little while or even just a week. Uh, thank you ever so much for choosing to spend part of your day listening to me and my ramblings. And I will be back again very soon with another share. It's almost March. Have a fantastic day and I will be back soon.